Well, I can tell you which one of the blackberries is my favorite one of the five cultivars that we're growing here, and it's Womack. And that's because I usually don't make it any further down the row. These seem to be a lot sweeter, and, and like all of the varieties, though, the berry is very large in size. But upon closer investigation of some of the fruit, we're noticing a lot of misshapen little individual berries and darker colors and kind of rotten. And what we're finding is that's actually a, an insect problem called stink bug, and there's an ant crawling on that one now that comes in kind of as a secondary pest. But the stink bugs will start penetrating the fruit, and they have piercing, sucking mouth parts, and they just pierce the individual fruit and uh, feed on it. And of course, that causes the individual berries to misshape and kind of rot on you like that. Now, of course, the stink bug, there's many different kinds. Uh, there's, there's different sizes, shapes, and colors of them. They all do the same damage, and the control would be preventative as far as trying to keep them from feeding on it, but you can't do that without contact of the insecticide on the stink bug. So you have to look at the label, things like Diazinon 7, 7, Rotenone, and Sabadia, and make sure they're labeled. But the problem is you have to wait so many days before harvest, and most of those uh, are not short enough periods before the fruit ripens on you. So again, the best thing is just to try to keep them picked off, monitor the insect problem, maybe spray earlier in the season, and then a lot of them you can still harvest and eat, and they're just as tasty. We hope you've enjoyed this classic from the Oklahoma Gardening Vault. Remember, even though these tips and techniques are timeless, there's always something new to learn in the world of gardening. By subscribing to both Oklahoma Gardening and OK Gardening Classics, you'll have access to a wealth of gardening knowledge, both classic and contemporary.